Well, good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, January 23rd. I'm Maggie Fleckno, and this is Houston Happens. What can I say? It's another messy, miserable morning and day ahead of us. So coming up on today's show, I am joined by my girls, that's the bright spot, Ido and Kerrigan, with a look at our forecast and the roads and what we can expect. I'm especially concerned tomorrow with the chance of flooding. So we'll have a look at all of our roadways. And the nominees are, yes, the 2024. Those aren't the nominees, they would win. Fail, right? Now, the 2024 Oscar nominations have just been revealed. We have a full list, and who was snubbed? And it is Tasty Tuesday. We are letting the good times roll with Eunice. That is H Town's upscale Creole Cajun hotspot. They are joining me live in studio with King Cakes. Maybe I'll get the baby. That and more is headed your way. So, what do you say? Let's get this show started. And as always, we begin with today's top talkers. So let's just say you have the, the right to remain silent for being basic. A woman was arrested for stealing Stanley Cups, you all. Yes, you heard me right. Check this out. So a 23-year-old California woman has been arrested after allegedly stealing 65 Stanley Cups and tumblers worth $2,500. Now, store clerks told police that the woman stuffed a shopping cart with St Stanley Cups and tumblers. She then refused to pay for them before taking off with them in her car. Well, police spotted her, pulled her over. They released these photos showing the trunk of the car as well as the front passenger floor stuffed with Stanley tumblers. Another photo showed Stanley tumblers, mugs, and bottles placed across the front hood of a police car. She has since been charged with grand theft. Let's just say she must have a thirst for being a bad girl. It was not worth it, honey. But let's be real. This obsession with Stanley Cups is kind of getting out of control, if you ask me. In fact, a mom, she recently went viral after revealing her nine-year-old was bullied over not having a Stanley. This is the cup that we got our daughter for Christmas. This is not a Stanley. This is a 9.98 Walmart cup that she said she thought was cute. She is nine years old. On the second day back to school after Christmas break, she comes home. She's not crying, she's just upset. The girls, all the other girls in her grade, I'm not saying all, maybe she said nine, 10 of them, all got Stanleys for Christmas. And they made sure to let her know that this is not a real Stanley, that this is fake and it's not as cool. Well, the mom went on to call out the girl's parents for failing to teach them to treat others with respect for not having trendy in-demand products, whether they're Stanley, Uggs, or Lululemon. But she also went on to reveal she, in fact, did buy her daughter a Stanley, maybe to fit in. She concluded the video with a message urging parents to teach their children to not make fun of others for not having the things that they have. Now, these are some of the comments on this mom's post. Christy says, quote, my school banned Stanleys because the teachers got tired of cleaning up spills constantly, probably some fights too. Now Kiki, who's probably a mom, says, my boys have followed my example, so they respond with things like, well, at least I have the thing that I like instead of the thing everyone else likes. I like that comment. And Alexandria commented, her cup is cute. It's like the perfect size for her and her taste. Stanley's are boring. So of course I had to bring my girl Ido into the mix. I don't have a Stanley. I don't either. You know, I go, so I've had it, I'm not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. I've actually had it in my cart, and I'm like, I'm gonna get it, and then I just can't bring myself to spend that money on a stupid cup. Yes, ma'am, I, uh, yes. <laughs> you know what, Stanleys aren't boring. They're basic. <laughs> and I mean, I own being basic, I have hugs, I do like a good Lululemon, I'm not gonna lie. You like, know, there is quality. I understand investing in quality pieces. Right. You know, I, I, I also have Uggs, but I've had them for five Me years too. now. But the Stanley Cup thing, I just don't get it. No. Nine years old. Plus, like, their backpacks are huge, so they're all, all like this, right? Yes. And then they got their cup. And, and, have, like, and have you seen those TikTok videos yes. of, like, the parents or, like, the dad or whatever making fun of the Stanley Cup? So they're carrying around a garbage can? Yeah. <laughs> That's like... But what would you do? So for this mom, she yes. got, like, a knockoff, right? Thought it yeah. was cute. She got called out. But then I thought it was interesting she did end up getting her daughter a Stanley. What would you do? 
I honestly, I probably, it's just so hard because my daughter, I would feel bad and I want her to fit in because, um, yeah, socially, socially, she, she needs uh, some support there. But at the same time, my daughter would be like, I don't care. Yeah. I like it. My daughter's so much braver than mm -hmm. I am. And I love watching her little personality and how she's just so firm in what she likes. It is what it is. And if you don't like it, too bad. And I really that need to you're learn a from good her. Mom. You're well, a good no, mom. no, 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 no. She came by that honestly. <laughs> Not good. This isn't from mom. Not I mean, at all. I, I like these, but yeah, they I are cute. They, I probably would cave and get May one. Oh, but I yeah. hope May's like that because I never went with the group. That's probably why I don't have a lot of friends now. <laughs> It and yeah. I'm very selective, and I I always did my own thing. I still do. Yeah, no, you do, and that's why we love you because you are your own unique person, just like that little girl. She found a cup yeah. that she liked, and and you know what? Like, if the mom did it, I get it. It's you know, tough. sometimes it's hard to being a parent, and you don't want your daughter to come home crying. No, that's what's so heartbreaking. I, I can't believe nine years old. It's just it. I'm worried for May. Yeah. Because right now, even at music class, the little girl stole her beret <gasps> and she cried. The one I gave her? The one you gave her and May cried and I just was oh. like so upset. My heart hurt. I didn't intervene. And then I, I, it just was so hard to already see this happening. Yes. She's a year old. Too <laughs> well. And that, I gave her a pep talk the next time. I was like, if someone comes after your bow, May, you growl. Because she mm -hmm. likes to be monster May. <laughs> and she growls. Yeah. And I was like, this is your opportunity. You so just does go, Henny. <laughs> You know what? You are an incredible mom. You are such a strong woman. You're independent. You stand up for yourself. This is what I so, so appreciate about Maggie and I look, look oh my forward gosh, to her about is that she stands up for herself and May is going to take after you because examples matter. Well, thank you. And yeah. you're a great example as a mom. Oh my gosh, I needed that. Sometimes you just need that. I love you. Thank you so much. You. Especially with this terrible weather. I know. I, I, I came into work this morning. I was like, nobody talk to me. I'm grouchy. Yeah, I feel like Eeyore. Yeah, me too. And it's just going to continue yeah. on. We're going to see some continued rain showers here over the next several days. I mean, come on, flood watch already? Uh, but this is mainly for the northern counties. Uh, they're going to be seeing maybe two to four inches of rain. I'll show you on radar just this line of rain that's coming towards the areas north of I-10. Now, south of I-10, we may just get one to two inches for the rest of today. Uh, but that rain is just going to keep coming, Maggie. Check this out radar right now. We have some scattered showers south of Houston, south of I-10 towards the coastline, but then we have this little batch of rain right here, and this is where we're going to be seeing that flood watch. So we are just keep stacking more rain and more water onto our ground. It's already pretty saturated. And now take a look at future cast here. 10 a.m. this morning starting that clock, and there is that line north of I-10. That's why we have that flood watch. And look at this. By 3 p.m., those showers just really come together. We're going to see heavy rainfall. We've got runoff going into creeks and streams and, of course, the bayous. That's why we have that flood watch. As we move into the 8 p.m. hour south of I-10, maybe a few scattered showers here and there, but that activity continues north of I-10. Now let's roll into overnight mm -hmm. because Houston, we are not out of the woods just yet. Here comes a nice line of strong rain pockets, heavy at times, moving in overnight throughout the morning hours. And Maggie, I know that uh, taking May outside in the rain yeah. is a huge concern for you. So these next couple of days, you know what? Just call in sick. <laughs> Mama's got to pay the bills, y'all. And I'm taking the show on the road tomorrow. I'm going to the Houston Auto right. Show. I'm really excited. But I'm very anxious. I get super anxious with this rain. So I know roadways, I'm going to have to take it extra early and slow my roll. Mm -hmm. So for that, let's roll on over to our girl, Kerrigan. Kerrigan, Ido called it. I get, you know I get anxious when it's, I don't sleep at night when I know that it's going to be flooding rain. Are the roads going to be terrible tomorrow morning? Tomorrow morning, we will start off on the soggy side, so we're going to have that rainfall bright and early before sun even uh, starts um, rising for us. Uh, we are seeing that rainfall here on our Houston Transar cameras this morning for our 9 o'clock hour. Here's 45 North Freeway at Mount Houston. You see those little raindrops being depicted here on our camera and those inbound lanes along 45 starting to slow down for us as well. Overall, traffic has been on the slower side this morning, but there hasn't been all too many accidents, and that's just because of the weather a lot of people are just 
driving a little slower. That's why our drive times are so high, but the accidents list was moderate to low visibility an issue for some locations. We had a dense fog advisory in effect this morning. Areas near the water saw some of that dense fog today, but not really seeing it impact drivers in the immediate downtown Houston area around Beltway 8, 610 Loop. You're just fine for your morning commute. Traffic maps showing a Katy Freeway, one of our slower spots this morning. We had that drive in from Pinnock to downtown sitting about an hour or more all throughout the morning time. Also West Beltway Way 8. We're seeing a long line of traffic developing on the backside of an accident that occurred at Beach Nut Street. Stop and go speed seen all the way up to uh, Katy Freeway as of now. We'll continue to track these weather conditions uh, for the rest of the day today and even into tomorrow. Tomorrow could be also another impactful day with the rainfall on our local roads. And I told you, Kerrigan, a lot of lights are out around town. People do not know how to treat it as a four-way stop sign. It's yeah, terrifying. That is a surefire recipe to add some traffic. Just take yeah, away I a light. Yeah, I like say a prayer, and I'm like, let's just go. Here we yep. go. I look all the ways and just go, but also allow extra time for that. And my husband has a doctor's appointment, so Hefe, you better leave now because you said I-10 is bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going. Extra time. All right, well, guess what? We have a lot of time still left in the show. Yes, so just stay put, get some coffee or tea, and we have Tasty Tuesday. Plus, guess who was nominated for an Oscar? That and more after the break. Join Inside the NFL for analysis of all the divisional round playoff games. Oh! Inside the NFL, tonight at 8, 7 central on The CW. When your door is always open, so is the fridge. With Kroger, you get the same great prices, deals, and rewards, whether you shop in-store, pickup, or delivery. That's a win-win-win. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Hi, I'm Lee Trevino. Most people know me for winning six PGA championships. With my bum knee, I started thinking I was going to have to trade my club in for a cane. Then I discovered Arthritis Knee Pain Centers. Arthritis Knee Pain Centers has cutting-edge image-guided treatments that place a natural lubricating gel directly into your affected joints. This FDA-approved non-surgical procedure replenishes the missing cushioning fluid to provide you with pain relief, comfort, and improved mobility without surgery or downtime. It's covered by Medicare and most private insurance. We've helped relieve the pain for thousands of our patients. Arthritis Knee Pain Centers relieve my pain and change my life. They got me back in the game again, baby. Call them now and schedule your free knee pain assessment. Get the pain relief you deserve today. Call 800-925-6863. That's 800-925-6863. Just picking these up. That was the three piece. The five piece modular one sectional recycles around 200 plastic bottles. Let's just tell everyone the fabric's made with a whole lot of plastic bottles. And the comfort and versatility? Well, that we have to show. Introducing modular one to our collection at Rooms to Go. Great colors, endless configurations on any budget. That's why we wanted it as a part of Drew and Jonathan for Rooms to Go. Good looking and smart. It's a win win. A twin win. Oh, twin win. I like that. When the insurance company tells you that you don't need a lawyer, then you probably need a lawyer. If you've been injured in an accident, call us for a free consultation at 1-800-JUSTICE. Simmons and Fletcher, Christian Trial Lawyers. The New Hampshire Presidential Primaries. News Nation Decision Desk 24 has you covered with the best political team on TV. News Nation tonight, starting at 7 Eastern. To find News Nation on your screen, go to joinnn.com. When your door is always open, so is the fridge. With Kroger, you get the same great prices, deals, and rewards, whether you shop in-store, pickup, or delivery. That's a win-win-win. Kroger, fresh for everyone. The truth revealed. We found 63 text messages between you and another man. I'm done. I'm done. Weekdays at 12 on CW39 Houston. And the nominees are... I've always wanted to say that, but it is Oscar nominations morning, which means it's time for the year's best movies and actors to find out if they are headed to the Dolby Theater or if they're just enough.
Huh? You like that? With only 47 days to go, here are the Oscar nominations. So for Best Actor in a Supporting Role, we have Sterling K. Brown in American Fiction, Robert De Niro in Killers of the Flower Moon, I do want to see that, Robert Downey Jr. in Oppenheimer, Ryan Gosling in Barbie, and Mark Ruffalo in Poor Things. For Actress in a Supporting Role, the nominees are Emily Blunt in Oppenheimer. We have Danielle Brooks in The Color Purple. America Ferreira in Barbie. Jodie Foster in Nyad. And Davine Joy Randolph in The Holdovers. For Best Actor in a Leading Role, we have Bradley Cooper in Maestro. Coleman Domingo, Rustin. Paul Giamatti, The Holdovers. Cillian Murphy, Oppenheimer. Jeffrey Wright, American Fiction. The nominees for Best Actress are Annette Benning for Nyad, Lily Gladstone, Killers of the Flower Moon, Sandra Hewler, Anatomy of a Fall, Carrie Mulligan, Maestro, Emma Stone, Poor Things. You'll notice no Barbie there, just saying, no Margot Robbie. And lastly, nominees for Best Picture are American Fiction, Anatomy of a Fall, Barbie, The Holdovers, Killers of the Flower Moon, Maestro, Oppenheimer, Past Lives, Poor Things, The Zone of Interest. Now, the 96 Academy Awards, hosted by Jimmy Kimmel, are on Sunday, March 10th, my husband's birthday. For a full list, we will have them over on our website, CW39.com. All right, let's be real. If it is coming to the big screen, Dean Richards has a review for it. So check out this week's big releases and where they rank in Dean's List. I want to be in the story, really inside the story, and build a thesis that shows how all of this is linked. New at theaters this week is the emotional, powerful, and incisive origin. It's based on Pulitzer Prize winning author Isabel Wilkerson's book, Cast, The, the Origins of Our Discontents. It's a timely story that begins with the murder of Trayvon Martin and expands to a worldwide examination linking discrimination and hatred here at home to the treatment of Jews in Nazi Germany and the centuries-old caste system in India where some groups are systematically treated like dirt. Aside from being a fascinating sociological look at why certain groups treat other groups the way they do, Origin is also the story of the making of this best-selling book and what motivated Wilkerson to push and fight to tell the story. Ingenue Ellis Taylor is amazing in her role, facing the highs and lows of life, motivating her to years-long research to learn what lies underneath the hatred for others wherever it's happened worldwide. Great storytelling and thoughtful filmmaking by director Ava DuVernay makes you feel like you're watching a well-made documentary. And then you're reminded that you're not with amazing performances from a spectacular cast. Origin isn't necessarily what you'd call a feel-good movie. It's more a very important movie that'll make you ponder and think about how the world got to be in the shape that it's in. It's an eye-opening Dean's List Day. And with the glut of award shows the past couple of weeks, maybe this weekend you want to take in some of the most awarded movies or performances so far. Since Barbie was the biggest movie of 2023, you probably have already seen it. So I'll recommend the movie that's taken top honors as best picture of the year last year, Christopher Nolan's directed Oppenheimer. He's won two best directing honors. Plus, Killian Murphy and Robert Downey Jr. have taken home awards for their performances. Poor Things is the eclectic, often shocking story of a Frankenstein-like surgery that's created a woman child without any filters. Emma Stone has won multiple awards for her brave performance. Paul Giamatti has been the surprise but deserving winner of several Best Actor honors for his role in The Charming The Holdovers. Co-star Divine Joy Randolph has taken Best Supporting honors at both the Golden Globes and Critics' Choice Awards. Killers of the Flower Moon and American Fiction are also good choices. The Academy Award nominations will come out next week. 
And as you heard right here, they're already out. So this is why we watch Dean. He always nails it. And you saw that a lot of those actors have been nominated. So congratulations. Could you imagine getting that call that you're nominated for an Oscar? Oh my goodness. All right, so in other news, if your New Year's resolution is to travel more, the Travel Mom takes us to another fantastic destination. Well, the Travel Mom, AKA Emily Kaufman, is always joining us from the most spectacular places and destinations with some amazing deals as well. So first, I have to ask, where are you, my friend? Hi, Maggie, and greetings from one of my favorite places, Atlantis, Bahamas, Paradise Island, which truly has something for everyone. Whatever type of vacation experience you're looking for, you can find it here. You want to relax at a white sand beach, they've got that. You want to chill by pools, there's plenty of those. And you know me and water slides. I love Aqua Venture water slides. There's also nightlife, casino gaming action, and so much more. Well, I know this is where I want to take my family. May is finally old enough, so this is on our bucket list. Also, there's an amazing sale right now. There is a fantastic sale going on right now. When you stay three nights or more, you will get a free night plus up to $250 in resort credits to be used at the property. And that's for travel from now until June. However, you've got to act quickly on this because the sale ends January 24th. So go to AtlantisBahamas.com and take advantage because this offer is fabulous. Well, I'm calling my husband right away because there's also some new things that they have to offer. The culinary capital of the world is now at the Atlantis Bahamas with so many restaurants. They've got a Shake Shack, a Sunday Gospel brunch, and they've got a new restaurant with celebrity chef Michael White called Paranza at the Cove. AtlantisBahamas.com for all that info. All right, again, Atlantis Bahamas, we've got to check it out. And where can we go to follow more about you? You can follow along with my Instagram and Facebook at The Travel Mom, where I give away a trip every single week. Well, as always, it was a pleasure having you on, my friend. Thank you. Score. <laughs> the laughs are on the house. Yay. I'm going to ride this pony right into the winner's circle. Weeknights starting at 10 on CW39. You've been in an accident. You're hurt. We're going to fight for you and turn that accident or that collision that you've been in into a beautiful melody and song. When my clients call me, they've gone through traumatic situations. We're going to go above. We're going to go beyond. And we're going to make sure that your situation that you brought to us is 110% better. When your child has moderate to severe eczema, it's okay for them to show off. Show off their clearer skin and noticeably less itch with Dupixent. Because children six months and older with eczema have plenty of reasons to show off their skin. With Dupixin, the number one prescribed biologic by dermatologists and allergists, they can stay ahead of their eczema. It helps block a key source of inflammation inside the body that can cause eczema to help heal your child's skin from within. Serious allergic reactions can occur that can be severe. Tell your doctor about new or worsening eye problems, such as eye pain or vision changes, including blurred vision, joint aches and pain, or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines without talking to your doctor. Show off to the world. Ask your child's eczema specialist about Dupixent. My sixth grade English class wrote some letters to our local Chick-fil-A that had closed for remodeling. Dear Chick-fil-A. Dear Chick-fil-A. Dear Chick-fil-A. I used to get Chick-fil-A 100 times a week. We need it back. We cannot leave these letters unanswered. So we loaded up our food truck to surprise not just her class, but the entire school. It was really rewarding as a teacher to see that kindness return to the kids. We got you a little something to make sure your students keep writing. 
want to be sure about our children's health, the pediatricians at Legacy Community Health get to know each child and family, answering all your health questions and your child's too. From well-child exams to safe and effective vaccines like COVID-19 and flu, getting that picky eater to try more veggies, or helping your high schooler deal with exam stress, Legacy's team is your trusted partner in your child's health and wellness. New patients are welcome at 14 convenient locations. Settle in for the best laughs on TV. This is how I feel. That is so going on the refrigerator. Weeknights at 11 and 11.30 on CW39 Houston. Well, get excited. We still have a half an hour left of Houston Happens. So still to come, we are letting the good times roll with Eunice. On this tasty Tuesday, oh my goodness, H-Town's Upscale Creole Cajun Hotspot is live in studio with those king cakes. That looks delicious. And a YouTuber that believes buttons should be back in style, oh my goodness, came up with a new iPhone accessory. Rich Jamiro has that in today's TechSmart. Plus, a foundation in NOLA has traveled to Havana as part of a cultural exchange. The young students from both countries share musicianship and make their own history. Stay tuned for the second half of Houston Happens after the break. Hey, Cover Girls, let's be Simply Ageless. With America's number one anti-aging foundation and the skin-loving Hyaluronic Complex for instant wrinkle reduction and healthy glowing skin. Simply Ageless from Easy Breezy Beautiful Cover Girl. It was a head-on collision. Airbags flew. Uh, there was smoke everywhere. The window was cracked. When it happened, I felt broken that I had nothing and that everything that I worked for was gone. And I was sitting on the curb and I was like, did this really just happen to me? I was like, I need to call someone. And I'm glad that I called Jim Adler and Associates because without them, I wouldn't have my new car and I wouldn't have the new blessings that I have now. If you feel broken after your wreck, I can help. Hi, I'm Lee Trevino. Most people know me for winning six PGA championships. With my bum knee, I started thinking I was going to have to trade my club in for a cane. Then I discovered Arthritis Knee Pain Centers. Arthritis Knee Pain Centers has cutting-edge, image-guided treatments that place a natural lubricating gel directly into your affected joints. This FDA-approved, non-surgical procedure replenishes the missing cushioning fluid to provide you with pain relief comfort and improved mobility without surgery or downtime. It's covered by Medicare and most private insurance. We've helped relieve the pain for thousands of our patients. Arthritis knee pain centers relieve my pain and change my life. They got me back in the game again, baby. Call them now and schedule your free knee pain assessment. Get the pain relief you deserve today. Call 800-925-6863. That's 800-925-6863. Never been healthier. Shingles doesn't care, but Shingrix protects. Proven over 90% effective, Shingrix is a vaccine used to prevent shingles in adults 50 years and older. Shingrix does not protect everyone and is not for those with severe allergic reactions to its ingredients or to a previous dose. An increased risk of guillain barre syndrome was observed after getting Shingrix. Fainting can also happen. The most common side effects are pain, redness and swelling at the injection site, muscle pain, tiredness, headache, shivering, fever, and upset stomach. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Shingrix today. I just finished picking these up. That was the three-piece. The five-piece modular one-sectional recycles around 200 plastic bottles. Let's just tell everyone the fabric's made with a whole lot of plastic bottles. And the comfort and versatility? Well, that we have to show. Introducing Modular One to our collection at Rooms To Go. Great colors, endless configurations on any budget. That's why we wanted it as a part of Drew and Jonathan for Rooms To Go. Good looking and smart, it's a win-win. A twin win. Oh, twin win, I like that. Steve Wilkos, today at 2 on CW39 Houston. Welcome to the second half hour of Houston Happens. It is time to let the good times roll, honey, for the first time ever. I'm so excited. Eunice, Houston's upscale Creole Cajun hotspot is celebrating Mardi Gras with homemade king cakes. And we are joined by 
executive chef and partner, Drake Leonard. Thanks so much for waking up with us. Thanks for having me. My goodness, I hear about the bad weather and the bayous and the king cakes, and it reminds me of a day in Louisiana. I, know, I can right? tell you. So tell everybody a little bit about your background in the restaurant. So, you know, I was uh, born and raised in Louisiana, Eunice. Uh, so the restaurant's named after my hometown. And I uh, was trained in Europe and back to Louisiana. So the restaurant is a merger of both my European training and my Louisiana heritage. I love this. And we could not not have king cakes. So this is the first year you're Tis doing Tis the season. Yeah, it's the first year we're doing king cakes to sell. You can buy them online. Uh, go to the website, unisrestaurant.com. Click an order two days in advance, and they'll come just like this in a box. Uh. But today, gonna you're going to make one. Oh, I'm so, so excited. And you told me this is no basic king cake. Tell me how yours is different. No, so so we've, uh, you know, normally it's a brio-style dough, but we've taken um, a laminated pastry, more like a croissant. Mm -hmm. We roll it out. We layer it with cinnamon and sugar, a little bit of vanilla, some orange zest. We roll them up kind of in the style of a cinnamon roll. Mm -hmm. Then we braid it, as you can see. And, uh, and then we bake it, and we dress it with a little cream cheese frosting. Oh, my gosh. You're lucky I'm just not putting my fingers in So <laughs> you can. Listen. It's all right. That, that's a way to keep it for yourself so nobody else eat it. <laughs> Germs. Contaminate it, right? Yeah. This is so. amazing. Oh, your frosting. I like it. Yeah. It's just the right thickness. It, it's, you know? She's a, she's a little thick. That's right. So all it's right. perfect to spread around. All and right. Then, so I did that. And yeah. talk about the colors. So the green and gold and uh, purple, right, for prosperity, wealth, and justice. Okay. And so we've got a couple of babies as well. Mm -hmm. And the great story I about the... Too. Yeah, go for it. No, so here, you can okay. get in there, do what you well, want, as much as you want, dessert. however you'd like. So again, how long are you going to be offering these for? So these, we started on uh, on January 6th, which is always traditionally the first day of Mardi Gras. Do and I we, spread all over? It, however you want. Nice. It doesn't matter. You know, oh, I think... artistic... Free. Oops. Uh, and we go until February 13th, which is Mardi Gras Day. Uh -huh. uh, Mardi Gras Day, we'll offer these by the slice. We'll have them in the restaurant. On the um, Saturday, February 10th, we're also going to do a Mardi Gras uh, brunch oh. for all those folks that maybe can't come on the Mardi Gras day, but that. maybe that would love to come. So we'll have some live music Ooh. and uh, and a couple of our favorites, King Cake by the Slice and uh, and some of our Louisiana dishes, our favorites, gumbo, maybe some jambalaya. So this is a really fun kind of a, a play on our play on Mardi Gras here in yeah. Houston. Well, quickly, as we wrap up, what does it mean to share your culture and your heritage with people in Houston? So, you know, there's so many Houstonians that have Louisiana ties and connections, and, and I think it's just a shared city, and I-10 shares, you know, from New Orleans all the way to Houston. So, it's great to be able to be here and cook this food and just bring a little part of home for so many people here to Houston. I love it. Well, thank you so much. I mean, pretty much. we got to have a slice, irony. right? We're going to have a slice, but Oh, look at it. Okay. Watch this. A real slice, like a real deal <gasps> slice of king cake. I told you cake. this is my favorite thing to have for breakfast. And she's got the it's baby. Now, it looks I like got she's got baby. a baby. Oh, my gosh. Right. So oh, you. So the baby go. means you bring the next slice to the next Mardi Gras party. Oh, my gosh. I can taste it. There you go. Th this is amazing. Awesome. Oh, hey, my gosh. Thanks for having us. Thank you. I You're really welcome. appreciate it. Happy Mardi Gras. Happy Mardi Gras, everybody. And I never eat on air. Everybody knows that. So that's how good it is. <laughs> because um, now I have to toss, and I have a mouthful, so I apologize. My mama taught me better. But that's all right. Speaking of NOLA, for the past several years, the Trombone Shorty Foundation in NOLA has traveled to Havana, I don't know if you know this, wow. as part of a cultural exchange. Well, the young students from both countries share musicianship and make their own history. Check it out, and I'm having more. <laughs> we love when you come here, you're just immediately hit with the similarities, with, with New Orleans especially. Havana is some 670 miles across the Gulf of Mexico from the Crescent City and in some ways very different. However, there is a shared musical history. There's so much of the music here and so much of the music and culture in New Orleans is informed by Africa through the Caribbean, specifically Cuba. To that end, a celebratory partnership of continuing that connection is being explored by the students of the Trombone Shorty Foundation and the Guillermo Tomas Conservatory sprung up as a binational means of young musicians sharing their music. Yeah, you know, the Mardi Gras Indian second line music that we play, we may accent the beat on a different uh, beat, but they have the salsa music, and if you take some of that out of there and play it, you can hear some second line, and you can hear the, the, the cousins, you know, like cousins rhythm. 
The trip to Havana includes an instrument giveaway for some of the conservatory students, but it's not all studying tunes. Many New Orleans musicians traveled, performed, and shared with all of the students as well. I think the exchange is a perfect word because they're giving me something. I want to give them something, and eventually we make something beautiful. The annual exchange is called Getting Funky in Havana, produced by Cuba Educational Travel and supported by the GMA-owned Prima Foundation. A five-day taste of all that the Caribbean island has to offer, but centered around lifting up the music and these young musicians. Although we may be in different parts of the world, we still have similar musicians, still similar sounds, similar knowledge in music. Very cool. Well. Breaking news, Ito. Did you see? What, what's happening? What? Breaking news, Ito is officially basic. <laughs> Don't you get that Stanley, girlfriend? <laughs> well, uh, one of our producers is a huge Stanley. Yeah, what, fan. Producer Lou Whittle says, "How many Stanleys, Lou? In my ear, how yeah. many Stanleys do you have?" She has three. Three. Okay, I've known people with like fifteen. What? <gasps> Charlie, director Charlie. Charlie has two. Okay. And they still Al, say that they're... Lalo has three. Okay, anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody anybody? else? You get a Stanley and you <laughs> get a Stanley. You know, I, here's why I don't want a Stanley. I have a diaper bag. Yeah, because I'm a mom. Yeah. That's right. You can't throw it in. So I have that other basic water bottle with the multicolors. I'll post it on Instagram. Swipe up. Not an influencer. <laughs> but, um, and I like it because I can throw it around. Because Stanley, yeah. if it tips over, it's going to spill. Yeah, yeah, because there's no lid. Right, like mine, does it spill? Yeah, mine has to have like a like a uh, like a screw on top or a cap or something yeah, like that. Yeah, clearly moms aren't. aren't, aren't yeah, right. it's it's gonna spill. And even I will say though, I was so basic. I have a Yeti, but that no. is hard to grip because it's such girth. No, that you need. Both yeah, hands. but those are so great. Like I, I okay, but I I get why you, because this part's smaller, so it fits in the, the mug, right? The coffee hold, the yeah, cup holder in your cars. So I get... And Lou says it stays cold all day. How do I look? You look pretty, I mean, gorgeous. <laughs> and with that, my favorite dress you're wearing, I don't know, I'm kind of here for this. <laughs> well, good, I'm glad. <laughs> here, let me, let me, but, here, pass it over here, the Stanley. All right. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> that did not work out. Like uh, but you know, Maggie, you know what we're not here for? What? Is this street flooding that we're seeing. I, I want to show you this video from my friend Roddy. He uh, let me go ahead and post this and put this Whoa. up for, here for you guys. Uh, yeah, we've had some poor drainage areas, low-lying areas, seen this. And we're going to continue to see the possibility of some minor street flooding for the rest of today and tomorrow because the rain just will not let up. Now, Let's go ahead and take a look at these numbers right here. The rain so far, uh, two to four far out to the west, one to three a little bit closer in western Harris County, but in town about half an inch to an inch and then further south of I-10, maybe an inch or two. But we're going to continue adding on inches of rain because we have two more storm systems that are going to be coming in. So this is what you need to know all the rain gear. Just have it all. Just just get it all. Then we have some uh, scattered to wide spread showers for today. South of I-10, that's where we're going to see the scattered rain. North of I-10, that's where we're going to see the widespread rain. Uh, meanwhile, my, minor street flooding is still going to be the Im biggest impact for us. Now, it's a gloomy start to the day. Here's a live look at our Wells Fargo camera can't see anything. The clouds are pretty low. It's 63 degrees though. Winds out of the southeast at 14 miles per hour. Here's your day planner for the rest of today. Our temperatures are going to be climbing up to those upper 60s. Maybe a few spots hitting about 70, but this is the story for today. We're going to continue to see some rain and then possibly even a little isolated thunderstorm here or there, but this is the look at the wide look at all that rain, Maggie. It's just, when is it going to end? I don't, I, that's the question <laughs> for you. That's why you're the uh, meteorologist. That's Talk the to enemy. Mother Nature, honey. Mama's yeah. over it. And my hair. I didn't even watch it yesterday because I was going to. It's just so flat. I go outside and it's like. Bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> That's I love it. But, you I know, love it. Oh, my gosh. I'm holding the stuff. They should sponsor us for all this. I do not have one. And I, you know they personalize this thing. Lou, don't worry. I won't, <laughs> I won't drink out of it. It's kind of heavy. I don't know. A, a nine-year-old? No way. This is almost as big as they are. Uh, Kerrigan, someone, though, kind of outed you. How many Stanleys do you have, girlfriend? 
Oh, I don't have any. I'm Chidrika, not. Chidrika no. said you had a lot at your house. What? Chidrika, no. get your life. Count yeah, I, I do not have any at my house. Um, well, here, I'll let you see what it's like to hold one. Yeah, I've honestly, I don't even think I've held one before. They're oh. kind of heavy. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so and yesterday? Yeah, yesterday I caught a cramp in this like forearm, so this is out of the picture oh, for here. me. I'm sorry, honey. Yeah, no cramps. Are you okay? What did I you mean, do? I, I maybe is it from that clicker. May, honestly, probably so. Not right. But I was like, what is what is happening? Like, my arm is cramping. Of all things. Oh, honey. Yeah. Oh well, I'll hold your Stanley. <laughs> you can hold it, and then I'll just hold it, and you can have your straw. This is what friends do for each other. Need to go to a massage therapist for like my arm problems I'm because sorry, of this I clicker. My arm from a Stanley the clicker. clicker. <laughs> That's it's me. my clicker hand. That's what it is. It's because of all the, the other. Could you click with the other hand? I can click with the other hand, but it's because, <laughs> it's because of all the weather and traffic this week. I've just been clicking away. And I told issues. you. You've been earning that paycheck, girl. <laughs> Man, <laughs> well, let's, let's get to our roadways this morning. The fog's not funny uh, out along the coastline. We have 45 Gulf Freeway at Tiki Island right now. Check this out. This is our Houston Transtar camera. Can't even see the roadway out there. The fog has been progressively getting worse for us this morning, especially for our coastal regions. Uh, this location doesn't have a whole lot of traffic, but it has a whole lot of fog this morning. So here's our visibility map. We have the Katy area, seeing about two miles visibility but out toward the port um, in Galveston, 0.3 miles visibility. That's where we just took that Houston Transtar camera from. Mostly areas near the water to our east and southeast are seeing some of that denser fog. Our drive times have gone down now that we're approaching the end of our 9 o'clock hour. Crosby Lynchburg to downtown, you're at 24 minutes. NASA Parkway to downtown, you're all good along the Gulf Freeway. Even though it's foggy, your drive time's sitting all right in 14 minutes from Highway 146 to the South Loop. All right. Thanks, Kerrigan. I'll let you rest your clicker until tomorrow. <laughs> Throw it across. <laughs> all right. Stay tuned for more Houston Happens. <laughs> Things are heating up in the courtroom. Three judges are better than one. Triple the judges, triple the action. Hot Bench, next on CW39 Houston. With TXU Energy, big energy savings are always at your fingertips. With a plan that gives you 100% free electricity all night and 100% solar energy all day, no panels required. Or the first plan in Texas that guarantees unlimited free EV charging all night, all morning, all year long. Even a plan to help you make the most of your solar panels. For the biggest savings on electricity today and into the future, click, call, or tap your way to TXU Energy. TXU Energy. Energy for everything. Who can you call when you need immediate help, any time of day or night? Always giving you and your family peace of mind. AAA's legendary roadside assistance is a network with over 50,000 vehicles that respond to more than 32 million assistance calls every year. If something happens and we're broken down, my family's not going to be stranded. There are so many benefits to membership, and AAA is there if you're locked out of your car, need a tow, run out of gas, have a flat tire or a dead battery. You know, if you have one flat tire or one battery service, that membership fee pays for itself. Wherever you go, wherever you are, you can trust AAA to be there when you need them. Join today for less than $5 a month. We'll waive the membership admission fee. And as a special bonus, you'll receive a free one-year membership for two additional eligible family members and a $25 Visa gift card. That's a combined value of up to $174 for only $59 for an annual membership. Don't wait another second. Call to join AAA right now. Because I have both Medicaid and Medicare, I got a special Medicare Advantage plan from WellCare. It's called DSNP. That's D-S-N-P. And it stands for Dual Eligible Special Needs Plan. Ah, uh, my grandson, it's my boy. Hey, Grandma. And a WellCare DSNP comes with a whole lot of these. As in WellCare gives me benefits I can use every day. And real human support and answers I can understand. And I get benefits like $0 copays on prescriptions and a WellCare Spendables debit card to pay for things like dental, utilities, and groceries. I can even use it to pay at the pump for gas. And that means a WellCare DSNP provides what I need when I need it. And that gives me the confidence I need to get through every day. The coverage you need and more. Call or visit wellcareyes.com to see if you qualify for more benefits. Well, in 
today's Tech Smart, Rich Tamiro checks out a new keyboard accessory for the iPhone called Clicks. Kerrigan, clicks, created by a prominent YouTuber that believes buttons should be back in style. It's been more than a decade since many of us have typed on BlackBerry keyboards. Now a new device called Clicks hopes to bring back that physical keyboard experience, this time on the iPhone. Remember typing on this? For a long time, that clickety-clack of the BlackBerry keyboard ruled. Then we went virtual with iPhone's on-screen keyboard. We had to throw buttons away about 17 years to do that as a society, but in doing so, we sacrificed a lot of the utility and frankly, a lot of the fun that buttons still provide. So we thought, why not bring them back? Michael Fisher is a popular YouTuber known as Mr. Mobile, reviewing smartphones and other gadgets. This time, he's creating his own, a physical keyboard for the iPhone called Clicks. If you don't have Clicks attached, your virtual keyboard pops up and it, it uses up half of your available screen real estate. So having the physical keyboard allows you to keep all of that. You can also take advantage of keyboard shortcuts. What is nice is that you can remove it or add it with very little hassle. So similar to an iPad, you know, you see an iPad, people use a magic keyboard sometimes. People pop it off when they don't need it. It's just as easy to do that with Clicks. So you can kind of have your own experience. Clicks is $139, has a backlight, and comes in several colors. First impressions of typing, it's, it takes a little bit of getting used to. The phone doesn't feel any heavier, even though it's longer, it doesn't feel like it's unwieldy, which I like. I like the fact that you can see your entire screen while you're typing, and I love the grippy nature of it. They nailed the grippiness on this. They don't call it a case, but to me, they nailed the grippiness on this case. The last time someone built a keyboard case for the iPhone was in 2014. It was called Typo. Clicks seems to be more thoughtful, a higher quality build that better integrates with the iPhone's own software and hardware. Look, I'm kind of an old timer. I came up on uh, QWERTY keyboards that were physical in nature. It's more fun to type on. It, it's a more tactile, it's a more personal, it's a more human experience for me than typing on glass. The question is, are you ready to go back to a physical keyboard experience? I guess we'll find out on February 1st when Clicks goes on sale. If you want more information about it, you can find it on my website. Just go to richontech.tv. I'm Rich Demiro, and you are Tech Smart. Rich, I don't know. Shut up and take my money. I'd miss the BlackBerry experience. I may have to try that out. All right. Speaking of trying things out, it is the new year, as we've been saying, and maybe you're on track for your New Year's resolutions from eating healthy to healthy habits, or maybe if you're an overachiever, it's preparing for a marathon. We just had the Houston Marathon. If that is the case, it can be overwhelming for some, but never fear. Olivia Horton has some of the top products to train for your next marathon from Consumer Resource Best Reviews. Running is hard and training for a marathon is even harder. However, helpful products and tips can make your training journey much more pleasant. Joining us now with the top tested products to get you to the finish line is Senior Director of Content Operations from Best Reviews, Jacob Palmer. Jacob, thanks for joining us. Thanks so much for having me. You know, running a marathon, obviously a daunting task, and there's two big parts to it. You gotta train it and you gotta run the marathon. We brought a bunch of things here today that I think are gonna help people with both of those. Well, I myself am not a marathon runner, but for those who are, I think Think this is going to be really helpful. Let's first start with the gear. Yeah, and you know, obviously people don't think about the socks first and foremost when it's time to start running, but there are some major technology and there's these are the little things you need to start thinking about when you're beginning your marathon running journey. And these from Bombas were our favorite in the Best Reviews testing lab because they're great for sweat wicking and they're also great for keeping your feet comfortable through all of that impact, through all of that running. And so these were absolutely great. You know, number one, they're not that cheap, but you're getting what you're paying for with these because these do make your feet a lot more comfortable throughout this entire journey. Amazing. Well, you can't have a great pair of socks without an amazing pair of shoes, and the Hoka does just that. Yeah, and so we brought the Hokas not because they're necessarily the absolute top of the running shoes, but these are perfect for that person who's thinking about getting the marathon running and might back out at any moment. These are <laughs> the Hoka Cliftons, which if you're considering getting Hokas for your marathon running uh, process, 
Make sure you're getting the Clifton's. These are going to be the absolute best for it. They're super light. They have the great sole that Hoka's are known for. And they're also, you know, made for the durability to be able to withstand all that training and running the event itself. Well, while you're running the event, you probably need some eye protection and some good sunglasses are the great way to go. And these are from Gooder. So, you know, they're not only are they good, they are Gooder sunglasses. <laughs> and again, these have little sneaky technology within them where they're made to not really let the sweat pool up around your eyes, which can be very annoying when you're running a marathon. Marathon, and they're also made to uh, have some rubber on it so the impact you know which again happens over and over and over and over and over again while you're running a marathon these are built to stand the test test of that time as well if you're wearing them outside of the marathon context they look pretty good and what about keeping track of the miles and even the calories that you're burning yeah and so we brought a couple different models here of fitness trackers one is the Fitbit which is great and kind of the pioneer into this space of tracking your steps tracking your exercise uh, tracking your health stats in general and so that's a great one if that's all you care about. But if you want to take it up another level and make this a, a bigger part of your, your daily wear and uh, just basically what you're bringing with you every day, we do uh, recommend this Apple Watch Ultra. It is their best uh, high-impact watch that they have, has the best stats that we've seen from Apple. And you can't be running a marathon without some good tunes, everybody. <laughs> and, yes, and so that's what, obviously, I mean, how could you do that for that no, long? No, it's impossible. It would be literally impossible. So that's why we brought the AirPods Pro today. The AirPods are great, especially when you pay them with the Apple Watch because if you get the uh, the cellular version of the Apple Watch you don't need to bring your phone with you and you can just uh, pair your AirPods to your watch and be out on the go without taking around that extra you know pound and a half of a phone. Super super convenient but what's more convenient than being able to stay hydrated while you're running? Yeah <laughs> and when you're out there you know no one's gonna be wanting to carry this around with them Heck while no. they're out there but you do need to stay hydrated and at Best Reviews we are obsessed with water bottles and this one from Water Buffalo is one of our absolute favors. It takes Takes the concept that Camelback made famous a, a long time ago and is a little bit more affordable and is a great option for those who are really looking out there and step up their running game. Well, I think everybody is super excited and ready to go for the marathon. So thanks so much, Jacob. Thanks so much for having me. Of course. To learn more, just head to bestreviews.com or scan that QR code on your screen. Las Vegas is known as Sin City, but it really has become a sports town. In 2017, the city welcomed its first hockey team, then in 2018 came Vegas' first women's basketball team, and then in 2020, Vegas' first football team. Las Vegas isn't slowing down when it comes to professional sports anytime soon. This Big Game Fact is brought to you by the sponsors. Can you imagine doing all of this without a twin brother? No way. We're better together. What if we could be even better? That's why we've partnered with America's number one independent furniture retailer, Rooms to Go, where you'll find our all new furniture collection. Introducing Drew and Jonathan for Rooms to Go. Come in and check it out because we're designing something great together. Together. Yeah, you mean you and me together, together with Rooms to Go. Together, together. That's what I said. Sometimes it takes a different approach. <laughs> See the difference you can make around you. With Capella University's game-changing FlexPath format, set your own deadlines and access coursework anytime. Imagine your future differently with Capella University. Jesus says, I'm the light of the world. Hello, I'm Dr. Andre Lewis. Please join me in fellowship as we convey the light of Jesus Christ at New Faith Church each Sunday morning at 8 a.m. right here on Houston CW39. Hi, I'm Lee Trevino. Most people know me for winning six PGA championships. With my bum knee, I started thinking I was gonna have to trade my club in for a cane. Then I discovered arthritis knee pain centers. Arthritis Knee Pain Centers has cutting-edge, image-guided treatments that place a natural lubricating gel directly into your affected joints. This FDA-approved, non-surgical procedure replenishes the missing cushioning fluid to provide you with pain relief, comfort, and improved mobility without surgery or downtime. It's covered by Medicare and most private insurance. We've helped relieve the pain for thousands of our patients. Arthritis Knee Pain Centers relieve my pain and change my life. They got me back in the game again, baby. Call them now and schedule your free knee pain assessment. Get the pain relief you deserve today.
Call 800-925-6863. That's 800-925-6863. And that's nearly a wrap. Here's a look at today's sponsored content. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning. In the meantime, we leave you with this word from Power Wizard. New Year, new rates. When it comes to our electricity bills, sometimes you just don't know what type of plan to find for you. Well, guess what? We have our good friends at Power Wizard joining us. Christine, thanks so much for waking up with us. Thanks for having me. So, Christine, I have to say, it's been great to see my bill and see the rates start to go down. What kind of trends have you been seeing? Yeah, so we at Power Wizard, we're constantly looking at market trends, forecast, and while we don't know what's going to happen in the future, we're definitely seeing rates come down right now. However, most people a year ago signed up on this long-term contract um, so and rates are definitely starting to come down even further so talking about those long-term contracts should we still go on a long-term contract? I mean, the 12 year or 12 month, I should say, it's kind of appealing again. So what do we do? Yeah, if your contract is um, ending anytime soon, now is really the perfect time to switch. Okay, but here's the great thing is you guys will guide us and you'll help us find the right plan for us. So tell us a little bit about the workings of Power Wizard. Yeah, so we're constantly looking at trends. Um, what we do for our customers is sign them up on their behalf. You never have to lift a finger. Um, we'll sign you up for a new contract and we'll cancel your old expensive service. Um, so we literally do it all for you. That's what I love because, girl, I don't know about you, but breaking up is hard to do. <laughs> and you're like, oh, I don't want to have to call someone and be yeah. like, yeah, I want to get out of this. Yeah. And you guys will tell us then you'll just switch our plan automatically. Absolutely. We'll call them for you. If you call them, they're going to try and get you to stick with the same contract. Um, and typically it's super expensive. So most people just continue on with their service because they don't know what to do. That's what I did. When I was in my apartment, I just kept auto renewing and yeah. now looking back at my bills. So I don't know about you, a lot of New Year's <laughs> resolutions, you want to save money and yeah. Power Wizard, that's what you guys are about. And customers, they are happy. You guys have amazing reviews. We do. So we have hundreds of five-star Google reviews and we plan to keep it that way. So. So what's the best way for us to get in touch with you all? Just give us a call. Um, that's really the easiest way. Our customer care team can give you a um, updated contract rate and really let you know how much you can save each month. That's what I love too, is that you actually have people there because so often you can't get a hold of a person. You have people there that will answer the phone we and do. it helps every demographic. We so do. the elderly too, they really benefit from this too. Yeah, we encourage you to call us rather than go online. It's just so much easier. That way you get to speak to a friendly customer care expert. Hey, that sounds like heaven to me. <laughs> well, Power Wizard, what are you waiting for? They are here to help you find the perfect rate and save you money. Sounds like a good deal to me. Thanks so much, Christine. Thank you.